Hello everybody, my name is Baxter and welcome to New This Week, the show where I give you different movies and TV shows that are coming out this week on multiple different platforms, Sky, Amazon and Netflix, for you to go away and watch at home. Uh, as you can tell, my setup has changed today and that is simply because it's very sunny outside, very very sunny, and from where I normally record from, I can't see. Literally can't see, the sun is directly in my eyes, it d isn't usually, but today it was, so that's why my setup's changed a little bit, but you know, the show must go on. As always, I'll start with Sky. So, on Friday, Dora and the Lost City of Gold is coming out on Sky. Now, this is um, based off of the children's TV show, Dora the Explorer. And basically, Dora gets sent to a proper school rather than living in the jungle because her parents have got to do something. She ends up living with her cousin Diego and then she gets kidnapped because her parents like scavenge and like are treasure hunters so that obviously she gets flipping um, kidnapped and it basically it's about them trying to survive as well as trying to work out where this lost city of gold is and it seems I mean it seems quite cool um, it's not my cup of tea personally but it Store the Explorer in a live action form, so if you want to watch that, you can go away and watch that on Friday. On Saturday is a film called Stuber. Now, this is about uh, this has got Dave Batista in, um, who plays Drax in Guns of the Galaxy. Um, basically, he is a cop. I f is what is portrayed in the trailer is he's a cop. But he doesn't seem like any ordinary cop because he seems to be quite rogue and seems quite okay with killing people. So I don't know whether there's some undercover secrets there to unveil. Uh, but basically, he pretty much kidnaps a Uber driver to take him around everywhere to... He basically kidnaps an Uber driver to take him around everywhere and to basically kill people and do his jobs. Um, and the Uber driver is called Stu, so Stu and Uber, Stuber, I, that's what I'm guessing is why it's called Stuber. Uh, seems quite cool, seems quite funny, uh, quite a funny action movie which um, Dave Bautista seems to be in a few recently of just funny action movies. Um, so yeah, that's coming out on Saturday. Ignore my shadow, for some reason that's appeared. That's it for Sky, so Amazon. Um, on Amazon, coming out today, is American Psycho. Now, American Psycho is an older movie uh, based off the concept of just this ordinary guy being a complete and utter psycho and killing people in his own time, but he's get, quite easily getting away with it. Uh, however, there seems to be some sort, maybe some sort of complications. The police start investigating and you never know with these movies how close they will get um, and how many people he will kill. So yeah, that is coming out today, uh, coming out on Thursday. Now on Thursday is a series of movies, but I have to include them all in one because they're from the same series, is Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Twelve and Ocean's Thirteen. Now they're all in the same series. Uh, the order of them, for those of you that don't know, is 11, 12 and 13. Uh, the most recent one has been Ocean's Eight, which came out in the cinema last year. However, that one's not coming out on Amazon Prime. It's just 11, 12 and 13. Uh, it's basically about a group of people that try and rob places to get money. Um, Obviously, they always run into complications because it wouldn't be a movie unless there was complications. Um, so yeah, that's coming out on Thursday. There's not much more I can give you on that one, uh, just based off the fact there's three movies there. They go off the same concept. Um, so I recommend you go away and watch that. Uh, on Friday is Neighbours. Now, I'm pretty sure I've researched this over and over and over again. I'm pretty sure the movie that's coming out on the, uh, Amazon on Friday 
is bad neighbours. Now, for some reason, it's been marketed as neighbours. Now, when the movie was first announced, it was called Neighbours, and on Amazon Prime, it seems to be listed on the list of stuff that is coming out as Neighbours. However, I know it, and a lot of other people will know it as Bad Neighbours, with Seth Rogen, Zac Efron, and I can't remember the actress in it. Um, can't remember her name off the top of my head. But it's a very funny movie. It's basically about a family um, and this group of, of basically teenagers and kids move in next door and they cause trouble to Seth Rogen and his family. Uh, but Seth Rogen and his family try and battle back and it becomes like a battle of who can prank the other more. And it's quite funny. Uh, I don't give the concept justice. You know, on paper it probably doesn't sound that interesting, but honestly, it's hilarious. I love it. Uh, so that is it for Amazon. As you can tell, Amazon are finally, finally, finally releasing stuff. Uh, there's so much coming out now uh, on Amazon, and I'm so, so happy to say that. Uh, it's been quite disappointing recently uh, looking and not finding anything for Amazon. So finally, they're bringing stuff back out. Um, so yeah, those of you that have that must be happy about that. Uh, so, Netflix is next. So, coming out tomorrow, which is Tuesday on Netflix, is Jerry Seinfeld's stand-up comedy. Um, not much really to say about it. It's a stand-up comedy with Jerry Seinfeld. If you like Jerry Seinfeld, you'll watch it. If you don't like Jerry Seinfeld, you won't watch it. Quite simple. As this, I've always said, comedy is subjective. So, go away and watch the trailer. If you find the trailer funny, watch it. If you don't find the trailer funny, probably don't watch it. Um, and coming out on Wednesday is Working Moms Season 4. Um, I don't... I don't... Honestly, guys, I don't know what this is about. Um, obviously, this is Season 4, so people who are going to watch it uh, know what Working Moms is. Um, Obviously, if you're interested, go and wa uh, watch season one. Uh, but it's basically about a bunch of mums and things go wrong. It's The trailer doesn't give much away. It just has a lot of very stressed mums being very stressed, basically. So that's coming out on Wednesday. Us coming out on Wednesday is Premature. Now, Premature is a, about a college girl that before she goes... Um, off to start her new life and pursue a career. She goes out with her mates and they go to uh, a place in America and basically what she doesn't expect to happen is for her to fall in love. Now when she falls in love, obviously she can't stay there for long because she needs to pursue her career. The person she falls in love with also needs to pursue what they want. But they run into complications because obviously they both want to be together because it's something special, but they, it, but their two paths seem to be separating them, whereas they want to stay together. So it's a love story. Um, don't know if it will be a happy ending or what. Um, this one seems to be very much like they could end up together or they could go their separate ways. But either way, whatever decision they make, they're going to be happy. Fingers crossed. Um, but you never know. There might be some other stuff seeped in there but those are that's the main themes of it also coming out on wednesday is becoming now becoming is the the movie about um michelle obama now michelle obama released a book i think last year i think it was last year um maybe the end definitely um the year before at the end of it so it's came out recently, her best selling book, and um, basically she takes you behind the scenes. This is not a, this is not a like, got actresses in or anything. This is real, this is real stuff. Um, and she takes you behind the scenes to have a look at stuff and see her reactions and basically you know, get down to earth with Michelle Obama. Now she's a beloved figure, so I think this could be quite a heartwarming uh, documentary-style movie. Um, 
So yeah, that is coming out on Wednesday. And um, Friday, there's a bit of stuff coming out on Friday. Uh, so, uh, Dead to Me Season 2 is coming out on Friday. To which one of the two women, I don't quite know, I think it's Judy, uh, her husband. And I think they did it. Um, and then they try and get away with it, basically. And see what... Uh, and, but the FBI start investigating and getting close and it seems quite tense. So yeah, that, uh, obviously go and watch season one first. I don't really know what season one was about. Uh, but I update you on the, what's coming out this week and it's season two out this week. So yeah, it seems quite a... It seems funny. It seems quite... Um, it seems always quite tense as well. So uh, go and watch that. Uh, also coming out on Friday is Craig Ross Jr.'s uh, Mo Mono Gamey. Uh, I can only say it at a time. I can't say it at once for some reason. My brain doesn't work like that. Um, but that's coming out. So it's basically four couples that aren't working together very well. Going on this retreat type thing to save their marriages, basically. Um, honestly it doesn't give much away which intrigues me more because I personally thought it was a documentary of some sort of like why swap type thing uh, for what I could tell but when I watch the trailer it's very different to that I don't, I'm not sure if it's like a true one or whether they're actresses I'm going to guess they're actresses because it doesn't seem real um, and it also seems quite creepy as if something bad's going to happen. So I think there's a lot more to uncover in that. And I think that might be one to keep an eye on. But that's season one as well. So it's a TV show. Which is why I thought it was some sort of wife swap. I, it's not really sure. So yeah, I have a feeling it, it's not all as it seems. If it's not real it's not all as it seems if it is real then honestly i'm not i'm not sure what's going on there uh also coming out on friday is rust valley uh restorers um season two now this is simply about a group of guys or a guy with his team trying to restore old vehicles old cars to look brand new in modern day view sort of thing like this old rustic horrible cars turning them into something golden um, there's loads of shows like these around at the moment um, and if you're into cars if you're into like them like seeing how they restore different cars recommend you watch that it's season two so there's also a season one to watch so there's a lot to binge watch there if you're into cars uh, so yeah, you can go away and watch that. Also coming out on Friday is Book Club. Now, Book Club is about a group of girls, four girls to be exact. I say girls, they're older women um, who create a book club to kind of get away from the world and, you know, just be themselves and just get away from everything. Um, they, The one woman decides... This month's book will be Fifty Shades of Grey. As you know, though, Fifty Shades of Grey, it's a very sexual film uh, or book. Um, very sexual. So it turns these older women into kind of like they try and pursue a more sexual life. Um, it seems quite funny, but it also seems quite heartwarming, you know, for older women deciding that their life isn't over yet, that they don't need to hold back because of their age but simply that they should be going out more because they have more time on their hands, they they should go out more. Um, so yeah, uh, that seems quite a cool movie, so that's coming out on Friday. And finally, coming out on Friday, is Restaurants on the Edge Season 2. Now, this is about a group of people trying to go into restaurants that are bad, terrible, on the edge of simply going bust and restoring them, trying to get them to become a decent, good restaurant and basically making money again. Um, very much reminds me of Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Um, just not with Ramsay, 
but with some other people. So if you're into Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, you know, maybe give it a go. Um, it's season two of it, so you get to watch season one first. Um, if, you're, if you're into Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, give it a go. Um, but it might not be as good because it, of Ramsay. Some of you might find it better because it's not Ramsay, because you don't like Ramsay. Uh, but quite simply, that's coming out on Friday. Um, so you can go away and watch that. So yeah, that is everything I'm new this week. Um, sorry if the new set's bothering you or the shadow there is bothering you. Um, I just, I had to change it on the fly um, to get some sort of, I had to change it on the fly so you guys still got this show um, out, out today. So, yeah, um, if, if there's anything you're looking forward to, put it down in the comments down below. Uh, if there's anything you want me to review personally, then put that down in the comments down below as well. Uh, I've got a massive list, it's all on the wall. Um, and yeah, there's a massive list of stuff that I want to do. So, just ask me to do any and I'll just add it to my list. Um, so, yeah, that is everything for me this week. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. See ya!